Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video is going to be a quick little get ready with me. I haven't done a makeup video in freaking ages, but I'm going out tonight, stepping out for the little bar moment. So I wanted to show you guys my go-to makeup look right now. I'll share with you guys some new makeup products and my new makeup routine basically since I haven't done a makeup video in so long and I detail a lot of the new things that I use and a lot of the things that have been consistent in my makeup routine you guys can also check out how I did my hair like this and a bunch of other videos will be linked down below in the comments also everything that I use will be linked down below in the comments but that's all for now if you guys love this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and comment down below if you use any of the same products as me or recommend any makeup products that you think that i should try if you think that i will enjoy them based on the contents of this video but that's all for now now let's get right into this get ready with me okay so i just primed my face with the milk hydro grip also i just took a shower did my whole skincare routine so my face is super moisturized and i did my eyebrows with the benefit brow and it is the color 2.5 i believe yes yeah, yes yeah, it's 2.5 it is 2.75 it's very very light so i let it sit i don't let it sit as long as i would like a more oil-based primer because it does get kind of sticky and tacky and i do it in my t-zone i don't do like my whole face i use um i use a different primer for the rest of my face i've showed it to you guys before but i will still link it and now i'm taking my nars in the color walnut on that exact t-zone and i'm gonna let it sit just a tad not too long i think i might be finally running out of this i use a lot of my skincare routine is concealer based so it makes sense for me to be running out of this concealer which i love so much i can't wait to try out the um the light reflecting foundation y'all know i'm not like a huge foundation type of person i'm more of a tinted moisturizer something like that so i wasn't like fiending for it or anything but i really would like to try it because it seems like a great product but the only thing is right now it's only available online so i would like to try it in person because a few months ago i bought a nars tinted moisturizer and it didn't even match my skin because i didn't try it in person and by the time i got to exchange it i was kind of over it so i just returned it i spray fix plus after every step and then i just kind of let it sit but this helps it be not too dry dehydrated and then when i blend it all out it looks so skin like it's quite literally unreal and so for the last few months i've been using my maybelline fit me matte poreless in the color 355 it's called coconut i was matched this color a few years ago maybe two yeah about two years ago a little over two years ago and it matches my skin really really well even after my skin is like super discolored i don't know if you guys can tell i know this camera is um skin enhancing but my skin is like patchy when i went to barbados a couple of months ago back in november um i was super tan and my skin was kind of dehydrated basically and it was flaky and i just have a couple of light spots that don't really match up with the rest of my skin on my face and i feel like this just goes with my skin like the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't and although i did have a tan and my skin did peel a little bit I honestly still don't feel very duck. It's giving very much yellow this season. But as you guys can see, this foundation blends out seamlessly. And it matches my skin so well. Literally all the time. I was matched this color in like... It was September when I matched this color. So it was a month or two after summer break, you know... My tan is basically gone at this point, so, but not like completely gone. Like I still had a little bit of color and I also didn't tan very much that summer, but it did 
match me. I feel like this matches me for the most part, I want to say year round. But like I said, I'm not a huge foundation person. So a lot of the time when you guys catch me on Instagram, I'm not even wearing foundation. I'm just wearing concealer under my eyes since you guys know that is my trouble area. And yeah, so I'm just blending this out. Blends it out. Gotta get it on my neck. I guess I dropped my other primer, but it makes a huge difference using that primer on this part of my face and the benefit under my eyes. Because this is like what I want to stand out the absolute most. And I let it set so that it'll be a little bit darker and it'll be more profound because I still want the color and I also really want the coverage. The rest of my face, I don't really need as much, but when I'm going out, I want to have as much coverage as possible on my under eyes. This brush, I got it from Target. It is an eco tool and it came in a three pack. And this is the smallest one that they had in this in there. This is a concealer brush. And this is my absolute favorite brush. I needed brushes. I'm using this for, I'm going to say about a month now. And look, look at how easy it blends out. So simple. A little bit really does go a long way. Which is why I don't OD when it comes to the concealer. But the way that this brush like allows me to take my time and it still does what it needs to do is why I absolutely freaking love it. I love Eco Tools. Um, the first Eco Tools brush that I got was this um, bronzer brush. It's an angled brush. I got this because I forgot my contour brush. Um, when I went to Vegas a couple of years ago and I got it right in TJ Maxx or was it Marshalls? It was a huge Marshalls on, in Vegas, like on the strip. Eagle Tools is so good. And I believe that it was like $9.99 or something like that in Target for the three pack. So they're super affordable. And I was looking for, you know, concealer brushes. And that is the one that I found was probably the best one from target i was like that or real techniques which i do like real techniques but i love the way that these brushes feel they're so smooth and soft and after using this this i haven't cleaned it i don't think don't judge me and it's not like filthy so that's a good thing and then when i blend out this part of my concealer i go super super slow and then i just build my way up to blending i really take my time with this part so it can be as detailed and as, you know, look, can you guys see how easily this is being blended out? Look at this. It's insane the way that it just folds into my skin. And I can also just press it and that works as well. I gotta do both sides so it's been forever since I have done a makeup video but recently I think I want to say like this maybe August or October something like that sometime in the fall I realized that like I had fallen off with doing my makeup and my personal upkeep and all that stuff and I was like I need to try some new beauty products and not really the way that the beauty world is now like there is not drop after drop after drop. So you really have to be like looking for something specific in order to um, find a new beauty product. Unless you're comfortable with what you already use. Which I really was. But you know I wanted something to get me more excited about taking care of my, my look. So I wanted to try new makeup. I forgot to do my under eye. Let me do that real quick. I'm going to use the same NARS concealer. I kind of got new things like little by little. Like no, I didn't do a huge haul 
all at once. I just kind of got things like over time. And obviously, since I haven't done a makeup video in a long time, I haven't shared those things with you guys. And this honestly doesn't need to sit as long, so I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to use my the brush that I used to blend out my foundation. Now that that's all blended out, I'm going to put on my Fix Plus because I do this for every single layer. And I'm going to just let this sit for like a minute or two. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I know in my most recent makeup videos, I've done like bronzer, which is powder, to do my contour and things like that. Well, instead of contour, but this time I'm using, I'm back to the cream. I'm using this contour stick from ColourPop that I got a million bajillion years ago. And I'm using my Fenty contour stick. I don't know what color this is. It's so old. Like, it's literally gone. I don't even think they make these anymore. And I'm using the color Truffle. Um, I have used this as my contour stick, so... You can use this on your nose as well, but I just prefer that because it's so small and so petite and it's just like allows me to define my nose like super close. But I am using this because since it is winter time, it's better to use cream for most of your face so that it'll be um, a little bit more moist. It is pretty cold out tonight, so... I don't want to be in there freaking cracking up because I don't want to be in there freaking cracking up because I wanted to use bronze. And I am going to be outside a little bit for a little minute. So I'm wearing my stick. So again, with the Eco Tools, but this is not new at all. This I've been using for freaking, I want to say two years now. So, yeah, just blending that out. I love contouring my nose. Like, even this part just gets me super excited because I know, like, it just accentuates the features of my nose that I already naturally have. I love, like, my nose. Even the little arch that I have right there. You can't tell me nothing. Like, I like my nose and I know some people wouldn't consider my nose big but I think I have a big nose and I think it's so cute but I love this like round tip right here so and then blend this up in a circle got a little dimension in the face there I found it this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but it's an angled eyeshadow brush, and I've been using this to blend out my nose because it's it's so small that it allows me to be like really, really detailed with what I do. But I just start like at the right under my eyebrow and pull it down and blend it into the face a little bit. Give this a little circle. And hike it back up right into my eyebrow. And then circle it a little bit. Perfect. So it doesn't take away really or add anything to my face. Like I still get very much natural because I don't overdo it with the color. Okay, so now I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match in the color i have no idea um okay look this is it i use this religiously at one point but then i stopped but i recently started using it again and it's so good at like covering up my under eye bags so good at covering up my under eye bags so i've been using it again and you just pat it in there and then boom but you don't leave it like harsh looking like that like i'm gonna have to fix that on that side but look 
like there should not be harsh lines like that but since I already did it it's not going anywhere it's not as easy to blend out in the inner as it is on the outer but I just let it sit for like a couple of seconds and then I just why am I fanning it and then I just wipe it off with the same brush that I used to blend out my foundation but look you see what I mean so it's not like super harsh or anything it just covers the area and then yeah don't let it sit but usually so I'll use my when I just do concealer I use this right on top and this is the only place that I put it because it's the only place that I really need some grade a insurance because i don't need my under eyes embarrassing me like that and again with the fix plus fix plus is a secret ingredient if you do your entire face and you feel like something's off if anything if you make a mistake fix plus will cover it up like fix plus is that girl like i'm doing makeup for a couple of years now I'm gonna say four or five years secret ingredient secret ingredient anytime I don't use this no matter full face or whatever my face is atrocious okay now I'm taking the cream blush by Fenty Beauty in the color daiquiri dip you can use this with or without makeup i use this literally all the time it gives me the right amount of color it's bright red it's like you dip your finger into it and then just just tap 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 uncontrollably and then i blend this out with my regular um brush but I kind of well you'll see but I like that it's very red it goes with my I feel like it compliments me like full face or not but it gives me the right amount of color the only thing is that it's kind of like excessive to make sure that you can see it in your look and that it doesn't look I mean it blends out pretty well but look you don't want to completely erase it with the blending. Okay. And after this, I'm going to do... Okay. Okay, I've had for a minute now and I've used frequently, but I'm finally trying the Fenty Beauty Liquid Kilowatt and got the color Side Chick. And it is like a white, silver, goldish iridescent type of color so this is it blended out I haven't used highlight in ages I used to be such a freaking highlight fiend but I do want just like a sparkle of it right there you guys see it it's my first time <laughs> this is my first time using it this is new I love I love the color I'll do the same, trying to make it identical. And then, this is how I saw it done in a tutorial. Just tap it out, but I'm gonna end up blending it with my um, blush brush so that it's all just seamless. That's what I always do with my highlighter anyway, so. I'm going to do that anyway. I'm going to do that anyway because that's how I am. And then. 
So this is how it looks. Do I need to do a little blend? No. It all comes out pretty good. My lips look dry. Strange. It's giving face. And then I'm not doing any eyeshadow, but I'm going to do under eye liner. Because I am wearing black. Well, I'm 80% sure I'm wearing black tonight. And I just line right here. And I'm also putting on lashes, strip lashes. So that'll make the look. I love black, a little black light eye for a night out. Loki, I was m messing with my contact just now and I need to not do that. So I went and put my contacts in just now. And now we spray again with Fix Plus. And where the heck is my and then we let that dry for the last time. Oh my gosh, look at my face. It's giving skin, it's giving seamless, but it's also giving a little bit of oomph, if you know what I mean. So just let that dry and I'm gonna I know that Fix Plus is technically a setting spray, but I always go on top with this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray, and it pretty much makes my makeup like you can't you can't mess with it. Indestructible, yes, that's the word. And I gotta get under my neck so it doesn't get on the top of whatever shirt I wear. If I don't wear the shirt that I I'm planning to wear next I'm going to do my hair and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I touch up my hair my hair is a little bit grease balls I'm getting done tomorrow then I'm gonna put on lashes and I'm gonna do my lip combo and then I'll show you guys my outfit and then I'm heading out so I put my top on already but L'Oreal voluminous curve brush mascara honestly I could stop here but I'm not going to because I do want to put on lashes tonight once and for all but i love this mascara if i wanted to be done with my makeup look and just do mascara i honestly could be this is my like everyday go-to since i don't have lash extensions on but i'm gonna put on lashes you always have to put on mascara first especially on the bottom lashes because it just looks weird when you have like foundation or concealer built up on your bottom lashes it looks like you have no lashes at all and then you put freaking lashes on the top it just looks off it's very off-putting but since i already did um black eyeliner on the bottom it gives it an even more like smoky effect which i love because that just completes the look oh my god i look crazy <laughs> So look, prior is it giving, is it giving, is it giving? Also, my hair is done already. I might need a little touch up before leaving it for the house. And I'm using these House of Lashes Starlet. I got these so long ago, but these are actually, this is actually my second time wearing these lashes. I think I wore them one time. Yeah. I know for a fact it was one time, but that and my duo strip glue, and I just put that on the lash and I let it sit, and I'll be back when I'm ready to put on my lip gloss. So I'm gonna just let this dry down for a couple of seconds, and then that's like boring. You guys don't want to see that, but I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I'm going to Chevelle's. Like that's a regular, regular place. It's a bar. It's in Brooklyn. It's literally one of my favorite spots. So they have good drinks. They have the spicy margarita if you ever want to go. And they have crab meat empanadas. They have crab and shrimp in them. It's so good. The guac smells really, really good. I'm, I can't eat that, but the taste, the smell is 
amazing it smells like it tastes really really good and that's every time i go there with someone that's literally what they get but i can't eat it so that's super good also the tacos amazing and the drinks of course spicy margarita is my favorite it's my number one and then everything else is kind of like number two you know but i also have frozen margaritas and they have happy hour during the week but obviously i'm going at night so i won't be getting i won't be getting happy hour okay now i'm taking my la girl lip liner i think this is just dark brown yeah it's just called dark brown and i'm lining the top lip you can literally use any brown or even a black i opted for a dark brown because i wanted something a little bit softer And then I just rub it in. I really like pink, but I'm going to do this NYX Butter Gloss. No, Milky Gloss. Cookies and Milk. It's like a darker brown. It's almost like a purple, kind of, honestly. It's giving witch. Per... So this is the final look. So this is the final look. I still need to put my pants on. I'm going to show you guys my outfit all together. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now or later. But I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I'm a little bit lit right now already. But thank you guys so much for watching. And stay tuned for my outfit, my full, my full look. I need to hurry up because I need to go. But that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.